Hey everybody, Brooks from Drag Times here. So I had some recent time with a Tesla Model S P85D that had been upgraded to ludicrous mode. So if uh, you recall a while back, um, Tesla, uh, when they announced the P85D, uh, I ordered it right away. Uh, it was the first all-wheel drive, high-performance uh, vehicle from Tesla. And uh, after getting that, we did a lot of testing, ran it to quarter mile, zero to 60 and so forth. And then one day on the way back from the track, only a few months later, uh, they announced that there was a P90D that would have this ludicrous mode, which was going to be even faster. So obviously, you know, I was kind of pissed. I spent $137,000 on a car that was now becoming obsolete. But Tesla did offer an upgrade path for P85D owners to get the updated fuse or battery or whatever technology required uh, to enable ludicrous mode. So, of course, I ordered that and... It was delayed. Um, first they said it was going to cost $10,000 for the upgrade, then it came down to $7,500, and I think the end cost was $7,500 to do that upgrade to make your car ludicrous. So what did ludicrous actually do? There were some initial tests, but we got hold of a P85D car with ludicrous, and we're going to do some 0-60 to 60 testing to compare it against my best time in my P85D without ludicrous, which was 0-60 to 60 in 3.05 seconds. So this test will basically determine, you know, what the pickup in the zero to 60 time is with the $7,500 upgrade. And then afterwards we could talk about if that is worth it or not. So I got the V-Box here, we're we'll about to do some testing and see what the best time we can get is. All right, so here we go. We're in the, uh, again, P85D with the ludicrous upgrade. We got the car charged all the way up. Max charge on this car is about 253 miles. And we have the car in the ludicrous mode, battery warmed up, which you can see right here. Um, this doesn't have ludicrous plus, so if you hold down this, um, it'll still do the um, kind of Easter egg, Star Wars looking thing. Uh, but it doesn't give you the uh, ludicrous plus mode. But still, it says max battery power is ready. So we'll give it a quick zero to 60 test. And all right, so here we go. Let's see what we get. Let's see if we can uh, get close to three seconds or maybe even better. Maybe in the twos, let's see. Complete stop, V-Box on, launch control turned on, and go. Ah, a little bit of wheel spin there. I'm gonna have to give it another try. I don't like that. Shouldn't have any wheel spin at this level anyways. But nevertheless, it got zero to 60 in three seconds flat, uh, which could be 2.9. Uh, this thing rounds, the V-Box rounds. But uh, let's give it another try and see what we get. All right, here we go. Stop, V-Box reset, launch control engaged. Yeah, that was better. Let's see what we get here. Yeah, zero to 60 shows, looks like 2.9, uh, which could be 2.8. So definitely not as fast. I'm not sure which version battery this is. I'll check, because uh, obviously I think they upgrade the battery with the P85D Ludicrous. Um, but I know that we got 265 zero to 60 in the version three battery of the P90D Ludicrous. So P85D Ludicrous upgrade, not as quick with uh, zero to 60 in 2.9, but that could be 2.8. So I'll check the V-Box numbers and uh, come back in a few minutes and see what the actual results were. All right, so there you go. That's the results. Uh, official zero to 60 uh, with the P85D with the Ludus upgrade, upgrade was 2.87 seconds. Uh, that's definitely faster than the best time I got in my regular P85D, which was 3.05. So it's a pickup of 0.17 seconds. So is that worth $7,500? Comment below, let me know what you think. Um, basically, that equates to a snap of the fingers or how fast you can uh, start and stop a stopwatch. If you do it really quick, that's .15 seconds, and that's what you get for the $7,500 P85D Ludicrous upgrade. So even though I had ordered the Ludicrous upgrade for my P85D, I ended up, I ended up canceling that order because Tesla was just taking too long to implement that 
and I ended up finding a deal on a new P90D which I had bought instead. So why is it relevant now? Well, it's really not. You can't upgrade the cars anymore. Tesla's beyond that point. But if you are in the market for a used Tesla, you have some decisions to make. Whether or not you're gonna pick up a P85D, P90D, ludicrous, non-ludicrous, and so forth. So my recommendation would be to skip the P85D ludicrous even if you find a user on the market i don't think it's really worth the 7500 dollars upgrade i think you're better off finding a p90d with the latest vin number you can because there were some battery changes in the p90d ludicrous models early ones are not as fast as the later ones and the quickest one i've tested which was the p90d ludicrous with the version 3 battery came in with a 0 to 60 of 2.65 seconds which is really fast of course nowadays you can get the p100d with ludicrous which has gone 0 to 60 in my case in about 2.4 seconds and in some other tests they've gone as low as 2.28 seconds other updates uh the 4gt we got a couple weeks left in our order window uh to order the new 2017 or 2018 4gt uh, we hope we would have it by the end of the year and uh, we'll keep you updated on that thanks for watching